Captain's log. Time. I think dawn, whatever dawn is, like 5 36 o'clock in the morning. What up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood Archon Kai here, hanging out again today, playing some more Raft. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm having a pretty great day. If at any time you find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, peeps, don't forget to subscribe as well. Just a friendly reminder before we get going in today's episode that this particular noise that you're about to hear, that da-da-da-ding, is my da-da-da-ding and not yours. And those are going away really soon. But no, the, uh, the actual reminder that I had for you guys today is today is Wednesday. Don't, please don't forget to come and join me tonight for a live stream. I'm going to try and be online, and that usually means I will be for 6, or for, yeah, 6 p.m.? Yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on YouTube. Come and check us out. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but we'll figure something out to do. We always do. But, in the meantime, let's check this out, guys. So, we finished exploring the boat. Uh, Balboa Boat, I think is Balboa. Is that what it's called? We have to press the T, and we'll find out what it is. It is, no, the Vas... Vasa Gatan. The Vasa Gatan. We did it. And we got the coordinates for Balboa, which is right here, Balboa Island, 8721. So let's go ahead and get that on the go. Let's turn this on and see what we get. Uh, so 8E over here, 8, uh, E to down. So E, 8, 7, 2, and a 1. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, he's done it. Where is it? Oh, it's in a really weird location, so it's over there. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to go backwards, but the tide is going to take want to take me that way. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. I think what we need to do is I'm going to have to deploy the sails, and we're going to have to get off of this guy. Which isn't... Oh, I know how we're going to do it. I completely forgot. In the last episode, we also discovered plans for, ladies and gentle peeps, the engines and the steering wheel. It's gone ahead and picked those up. So we just learned them. Let's check them out. Let's see what we got to get going here. Is it this guy? No, probably not this guy. It's probably over here. And this thing? Steering wheel, ladies and gentle peeps. Scrap metal ingot and two bolts and two hinges okay maybe i think i don't know let's just grab there's our bolts and hinges so let's just grab some bolts and some hinges we need four rope no problem at all four metal ingots and what was it a scrap and a bunch of scrap so i've got a bunch of scrap up here we'll grab a bunch of scrap like so and we'll come over here and we'll grab some metal ingots like so I take one of these bad boys and put it over there. And that should allow us to go ahead and make the steering wheel. We've gone and done it. Let's go and pop that bad boy down in place. Now, I want to put it up here. I, ooh, R to rotate. R to rotate again, like so. This is where I want to put it. The whole reason that we've got this little spot right here is so that we can look out and see what we're doing. So R to rotate. Very nice. So it has a kind of a little deal that goes down and goes... Oh, it's a rudder deal. Very cool. Nice little rudder, hot rudder action. And the other thing that we have to have a look at is we have to have a look at engines right here. So metal ingots, rope some more, circuit boards. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So let's check out circuit boards real quick down here. Circuit boards. I'm going to need two of them. So it'll be two vine goo, four copper. Okay, not a problem. Vine goo. Uh, let's just grab all of it and let's just grab, come over here and we'll pop the chest open. And we can craft two circuit boards. I know I'm going to need that. All right, what was the next thing that we're going to need? Some rope and some planks. Not a problem. I've got all of that stuff. Planks for days and days and days. And then the last thing was rope. Uh, sorry, right here I've got rope for days and days and days. So let's craft an engine. Ladies and gentle peeps, he's done it. And let's squirt this guy on here. And let's see what we can get done. Uh, okay. Hot engine action. Which way is forward, do you think? Over this side, maybe? Like that? Where do we want to put this? Where do we want to stick this bad boy? Like right here? Uh, Yeah, okay, let's go right there. Ladies and gentle peeps, he's done it. Yeah, this will be good. I think this will be good. Mm, maybe it won't be good. So there's a pipe, and I do know a little bit about something something. And I'm sorry it's dark out, but I do know that there's going to be a pipe that's going to be run over here into something else that we're going to create with. Maybe we should go back one. Can we pick you up? I hope. We sure can, ladies and gentlemen, peeps, he's done it. And let's come back one. I kind of want the pipe to go on this one right here. 
Like so? Is that it? Does that look better? That looks way better. We've done it. Okay, so... Activate engine. Uh, this might not be any good. No, this is not going to be any good. Guys, we're screwing it up already today. It's it's awesome. Incredible and amazing. So we are going to have to put it here. It's not going to be a big deal. Uh, I will just make do. We'll move the pipe over some, but we still have to be able to get around like this. You get out of here, man. Uh, so we've got engine here. Very cool. And now that that's there, we actually are really going to have to have a look at uh, this other thing. So we're going to have to come over here and we're going to look at the foundation armor. And I want to be able to armor the three foundations that this is on. So we're going to need some nails and some more ingots. Uh, one, two, and three. Oh, those are copper. We don't need copper ingots. Squirt those in there. But we are going to need some metal ingots. Let's grab another bunch like so. Uh, and I think we're going to actually need two engines. Because it says 100 one engine per 100 foundations. And we totally have, what, 15 by 15? Which is well over 100 foundations. So we're going to need another engine. So I think I need more rope. And we're going to need some nails. Uh, more rope right here. And craft another engine. We've done it. Let's, we're we're going to squirt this bad boy over here. Like so, and it's going to have to go up here. Is that even? One, two, three, and one, two, three. That is totally even. Is exactly what we're looking for. And now we're going to have a look at... Oh, no, not this. We're going to have a look at the foundation armor, and let's get these armored up underneath these engines, because we definitely don't want the shark to come over and bust one of these foundations and completely ruin our day and make us lose our engine. So, ladies and gentle peep, peeps, we've done it. We've got the engine squirted down. We've got the armor foundations put in place, the foundation armor put in place. I've got all kinds of nails left over. I'm just going to start squirting this stuff away. We've got leftover this. We've got leftover the goo. We've got leftover planks, which I'm going to keep some on me. And let's get the rest of this iron put away over here like so. And we're also going to have to start squirting some more of this uh, on the go. Did I not? I did not. So that way we can get... More of it done up and ready to go. Squirt planks in there if we need them, and we do not. Okay. Uh, I also know that we need planks for fuel, so let's go ahead and get that done. I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Uh, see? See? I told you he was going to come for it. Get out of here. Go on. Get! That's mine. You can't have it. Okay. So I know that we take planks, and the planks go inside here. Oh, that's a lot of planks. Oh, baby. That's a lot of planks. So how many planks was it to completely fill it up? Let's check that again. So that was 20 planks there. It takes 17 planks to fill it up. And we're going to have to put these engines in reverse. Because I need to back off this bad boy a little bit. Let's get these engines going in reverse. Uh, can we fire up the engines like that? Say oh, yeah. It's doing it. It's having a hard time doing it, but it's doing it. We just need to come off this guy a little bit here and fire this guy up. Uh, like so. And now it's anchor up and that should pull us away. Uh, it is not. It is not. Deploy the anchor! Deploy the anchor! Stop working! Stop! Everything stop! Immediately stop! It doesn't want us to go in reverse. Why wouldn't it want us to go in reverse? That doesn't make any sense to me. I just want to go backwards. Hmm. So I think what we're going to have to do is, we've got this over here. I'm going to have to come off of here a little bit. That way we don't get stuck, and I really would like to be able to use this. So let's, uh, let's see if this will get done what we need to have done. This should pull us off of here, no problem at all. Yeah, we're going to have to come out here just a little bit further. I think we're underway. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get these, these engines to work the way I need them to work. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. I think that should be enough. We should be able to move forward now and not have too much of a problem. I'd like to grab that barrel. He's done it. Okay, get some stuff. The rest of that stuff can go in there. We're going to have to come off of here just a little bit for, a little bit more, and then we'll see if we can get going here. Just a little more. Just a little. All right, and that's it. Now, for the time being, maybe we should just see if we can get moving forward. Uh, maybe forward's just a better way to go at some sort of rate of speed. So let's go ahead and do that and activate the engines. I kind of wish there was a way for uh, for me to have it that 
Unless maybe there's... I mean, one engine per 100, should, there, there should be enough. Do we need more engines? Oh, I, sh I wouldn't think that we would need more engines, would we? All right, and now we have this, so can we R to rotate smoothly? Rotate him this way. Will we go that way? Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, peeps, we're doing it. Bring her back. Like so. And there we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out what we need to do. And it looks like we need to turn that direction. So, how's our battery doing? Our battery's not actually doing very good. I'm just going to keep moving forward here until we're out past. I wonder if we need more engines. Like, it sounds like it's having a hard time, right? I don't know. Maybe. Alright, let's start turning here a little bit, like so. And is it the raft that's... Yeah, the raft is turning in that direction. That early direction. Oh, no, it's pivoted. Is it pivoting? Maybe we're just turning a little too hard here. I'm going to keep at this and see if I can figure out how to do this. And keep going. Uh, we should be able to come down here and get our metal now. Yes, please, and thank you so much. We'll just squirt the rest of these guys in here. Fill these up with planks like so. And that should be able to do it. All right, back up top. How are we doing? We're coming around. It looks like it's coming around. It feels like it's coming around. Rotate a bit more smoothly. I'd really like to be able to turn. Wow, that, that really rotated us on a dime. And I want to go into that direction. Are we going to go? Ooh. That stuff's getting away from us. I, I want that stuff. Come back here, stuff. Uh, so it feels like we're drifting that way now. I wonder if it's just because we don't have enough engines. Yeah, we are 100% floating in that direction. That's not doing it for us. I think we need more engines. Okay, and we're back. Two additional planks put, or engines put down. Let's pop in the extra armor that we're going to need here. Uh, we're probably going to have to do a little bit of refitting and structuring going on because stuff's just not quite the way I'd like it to be. But there we go. We've got that stuff all put down. Let me just get this off my hotbar so I don't have to look at it immediately. Uh, and we can engage these engines. Like so. Make sure everything's going in the correct direction. Which it is not. This engine's obviously going in the wrong direction. We want it to go this way. Same as this one. Uh, fill this bad boy up. Flick it on. Ladies and gentle peeps, he's done it. So now we have all our engines trying to go in one direction. There it goes. I would say we're on the move now, peeps. Oh, yeah, baby, we're cruising. Look at us go. Definitely got enough engines now. Oh, yeah. All right, let's check it out and see where we're going. So flick our thing on. Uh, so we've got... That's uh, that's the boat, the Radagasta Dan or whatever it was uh, that we were just at. So I don't think we have to go there, but we are going to have to rotate smoothly and make an about face. I need to get this guy directly in front of us, and then we'll be able to to fix this up a little bit. So we're getting awfully close. Just come off it a little bit here, like so. Yeah, here we go. Don't know why we have to have so many engines. 15 and 15 should not take four engines. And I would say that's about it. Right there should be pretty much dead even. So we've got to go 1,740 uh, units of measurement in that direction. And then we'll be able to arrive there. It looks like it's going to be the night. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bail on you guys for now. I'm going to start cooking some food and make sure that's all ready to go. I'm going to have to make sure these bad boys are completely filled up. It is using a decent amount of wood to be able to truck along here. But, man, we are cruising. Definitely on the move. Uh, our things are filling up quite nicely, in fact. Uh, I'm not super upset about that. So, yeah, I mean, there's a decent amount of stuff coming in here, and we should be able to collect a decent amount more. The flotsam and jetsam uh, should be definitely available to us. So I'm going to get going here, get us to where we need to be, peeps, and I will BRBs as soon as we're there. And we're back. Captain's log. Time. I think dawn, whatever dawn is, like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Headed west. 
as we're getting the sunrise over there. Are you coming to attack my boat? No? Okay. We're getting closer. Uh, I've been gathering up nets through the night. I got some stuff put away. Oh, we've got a big hiccup. There we go. Not a big hiccup anymore. Uh, yeah, we're only about 700 uh, units of measurement away. Once we get closer, I'm not 100% sure how to go about doing this. I am tempted to use one of the sails uh, just to bring us in close, but we'll figure that out. I don't think we're, uh, we're far away. I've had to refill the engines one time, all four of them. It's chewing through wood. Fortunately, we are getting some wood. Oh, I missed you. I'll get you the next time. Um, these things cause a decent amount of frame drops, which is interesting. Oh, land ho! Oh my god, it's huge! Ladies and gentle peeps. Uh, it's a big, big, big thing. Wow. Is that, like, the top of it over there? We've turned this way, we can see it. Oh, baby, those are some big trees. So we're getting real close. How far away are we? Let me, you know what? Give me, uh, some inventory that I don't have to look at stuff. Like so. So 546. So that's, if we can see it from this far away, it's got to be a big island. So yeah, we're headed straight for it. Uh, I hope that we're going to be able to get around it. Or at least find a spot to be able to make a decent landfall without having to fight too much. Uh, how are our nets? We're getting pretty full up. I'm just going to come and grab this stuff again. Like so. And we've done it. We're going to get that barrel. Let's get back up top so we can get a better view of this as we come into it. Now, this is Balboa Island. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. It's, it's Story Island time. I do know that. Lots and lots of stuff. Sweet. Um, yeah, it's huge. I wish there was a way to slow us down and maybe not use full speed, but I don't think that's a thing. Oh, okay. So if we... And I don't like that I have to look out of my peripheral vision in order to be able to really see what's going on here. But I think we're coming into the wrong spot. It looks like we're coming into a hard cliff. So I'm just going to try and, I mean, do we, I think we'll just, well, I'd like that, uh, that casket deal there. So I don't need this anymore. We're going to shut this off because these things chew through batteries like crazy, man. It's insane. Yeah, we're getting real close here. I'm going to just start turning us this way a little bit to get us around uh, this big island deal. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find a spot to actually make landfall. Hmm. I mean, that's going to be pretty boring, I think, so I'm not really going to take you guys with me for that. I'm just going to go around this island a little bit, and I'll BRBs once we find somewhere to, to land. We're back. I think I might have found a spot to make landfall. Not 100% certain. I'm just over here shutting the engines off. Powering them down. Because there's not much point in having them on if this is what it's going to be. So, on... Ugh. Okay, we'll just go over this way, I guess. Uh, I'm just floating us. I, I dropped sail to bring us into this spot over here. Yeah, it looks like there's landfall that can be made right over here. I'm going to try and bring us in. Try is the uh, the opportune word. These engines are way faster than the sails, man. It is insane. So if I put you up, where do we go? Uh, okay, so it definitely wants us to go that way. So I'm going to need to go this way. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't be so bad if we just came in right here. I feel like this is close enough, though. Let's deploy the anchor. Yeah, this is definitely going to be close enough. So, I kind of want to move forward a little more. So, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to fire these engines back up. This is going to take some getting used to using all this stuff, this technology. Also, uh, so apparently when there's just not enough power to move the boat for whatever reason, whether that's your, uh, your engine's... Uh, are over, you know, trying to move too much weight, or if you have an anchor down like what we have now, this is the way the engines behave, which is perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. It lets me know that stuff's not doing what it wants to do, and I'm not upset with things not happening the way certain things want to happen. So I want to move us ahead oh, this way a little bit, and then I want to take us in closer that way if we can. Uh, and this is going to have to be close enough just like that. Yeah, I think this is going to be close enough. I'm not worried about going in there any further, but yeah, we're here, man. So let's get these engines powered down. Uh, I'm going to get them filled back up with planks. We're going to grab some food. I'm going to need to get a bow and some arrows, and we're going to get to this. See what's in here. This looks like a really big island, so I'm not 100% sure how much this is going to take. 
but we're gonna give it a shot peeps uh, let's see squirt some of this stuff away we're getting we're oh man we are super full on fronds hopefully someone will be able to trade some of those with us uh wood i'm not gonna need any more of that plastic we can squirt that in here uh, here's a little bit of this here's a little bit of that and then we got a potato and a turnip and we're going to put those guys over here uh, potatoes and raw beets uh, whatever they are so this is full how's our battery doing our battery is actually okay we're going to leave that there we're going to let this continue to do its thing we're going to get a little bit of hot wool action like so all right, I'm just going to get geared up and ready to go, peeps. Uh, I'll be RBs once we make some more landfall kind of deals. And we're back. Okay, I think I've got everything good to go. I'm just going to come over here. We're going to grab... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's over here. We're going to grab just one more of these guys. I'm going to have it to eat right now. That doesn't look too bad. And I think we're going to grab one stack of these bad boys, maybe just the three. Uh, that should probably be enough. And I, like I said, I think we're good to go. We got a good amount of spear. We got our bow ready to go. Got an axe and our hook. All right, let's get to this and see what we can get done. I'm just going to come across right here so we can get away from the shark as fast as possible. Because he's been kind of cranky with me as of late. And I don't know why. All right, let's check out the Balboa Island, peeps. Okay, we've got a warning sign over here. I think we should read it. Warning, Balboa Nature Reserve. Okay, communication relay station ahead. Very nice. Beyond this point, no loitering, no littering. Well, we've got nothing to litter with, so I'm not worried about that. No cameras with flash. Uh, okay, no smoking or drinking. Hmm, no unauthorized vehicles. We don't have any. Violators will be persecuted to the full extent of the law. Uh, I invite you to come prosecute me, law. Come and do it. And what do we have here? Non-park personnel must turn back. Yeah, it seems like something I'm not going to do. All right, let's see if we can get some trees. We cannot right away. The trees are unavailable to us. This looks like a very harrowing path. Maybe this is not the way that we're supposed to come up here. But I feel like we're going to be okay. Uh, I should have probably filled up my water a little bit more. Let me just have a quick drink and another one. And you know what? Let's uh, let's have a little bit of this food. Let me get my uh, my super food all full up. There we go. We've got all full of food, water, and a little bit extra water and food to go with us. Uh, okay, warning. Bear dens ahead. We're not going to go that way. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the left. That's the thing that we always do because left going to the left is right, and the right is usually when we head left, so... Oh, signs. Okay. Ranger Station, Relay Station 2, Relay Station 4, Relay Station 6. Mm, I kind of feel like I want to go to Relay Station 1, but I don't know where that is. Maybe we should check out the Ranger Station first. Uh, nope. Go to the left because it's right. That's the that's the thing to do. So we're going to go left. Feels like a fork in the road. Now let's go. Okay, so now we've got Relay Station 4, Relay Station 6, Ranger Station, Relay Station 2. I don't wonder what's over here. I think we're just going to go check it all out. Oh, we... Oh, hello. What are you? Are you like a big bad bear? You are a big bad bear, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. Bear, dead ahead. Uh, are you friendly bear? You're not a friendly bear. You, uh, you can't handle my super arrows, though. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, he's done it. I took out the bear. Look at all the stuff we got. We've got a bear head. I lost one arrow. I have no idea where it is. And we got a little tiny bit of meat and some leather. Not exactly what I was after. What were you hiding up here? It felt like, you know, if there's a bear here, there should be a reason for a bear to be here. And I don't see what it is. Ooh, blueberries. Maybe that's what it is. We're here. He was here to protect the wild blueberries. Uh, we forgot our shovel. Ladies and gentle peeps. We forgot our shovel, and it looks like we're going to need it. I'm going to head back. We're back now with hot shovel action and an extra bow. However, that doesn't change the fact that right up here... There you go. Uh, the, uh, the bear decided it was going to respawn on us, which I thought I was going to be all set because I got this stuff out of my inventory. But I suppose some free meat's not a bad thing. And as you can see, we are definitely going to need the bow. Uh, more than one bow. All right, let's see what we can get. Uh, just some hot dirt action, I'm hoping. Yep, perfect. We're going to be able to make some stuff that I want to get done with the with uh, some more hot dirt. 
Um, that's for stuff for, well, the next time we're on a, the high seas in between adventures, uh, which is not today. Today we are exploring Balboa Island. Let's see what we can get. This cave has all kinds of stuff in it, uh, which is kind of cool, but it's not as expansive as I was hoping it was going to be. What a disappointment. The cave is all done and over with already. We got a bolt so far. That's good. And our inventory is already half full, which is not so good. All right. Carrying on, that was the farthest left path that we were able to take. The next path, I believe, it says it's taking us to substation 6 or relay station 6 and relay station 4 or this way. Uh, let's head up this. Oh, what do we have here? A little camp kind of deal? Campsite deal? Oh, yeah. Check it out, peeps. We can. Oh, what's this say? Bobby's Maze. No trespassing. Okay. I feel like it's not much of a maze, but who am I to say? Uh, sh bear. Stash. Use. Okay. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, a saw. Very nice. We got a hot saw action. I don't know what we're going to need that for, but we got it. Let's keep going. To the top of the hill. A lot of climbing in this particular map. Not 100% sure why. Oh, here we go. More stuff. Relay Station 6 is to the left, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. Uh, hot goat action. We don't really want goat. We're after more llama. Ooh, this could be interesting. All right, let's go. Check out all the flies. Ooh, bees? Bugs, maybe? I'm just listening to see if I can hear them buzzing. I don't. All I hear is birds chirping. Uh, that definitely looks like bees, though. And what's this? Oh, those are definitely bees. Hot bee action. Uh, hold to pick up honeycombs. Okay. Let's try picking up honeycombs. And he's done it. We got three honeycombs. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps. Da-da-da-ding is not your da-da-ding. Just remember that. This will be the last of these videos that you're ever going to hear that da-da-ding in. So if you're enjoying that da-da-da-ding, don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. For more da 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 ding alarm going off action. Okay, Ranger Station 6, or Relay Station 6, whatever you are. Uh, this island is a lot of travel. A lot more travel in this island than I thought there would be. Okay. Relay Station 6 is this way now. Alright. I wonder if there's a way to catch the bees. Like, get a net. Catch bees, put them in a jar, save them for later, and then maybe get them to do a honey uh, uh, a honey deal. Because obviously I need honeycomb, so if I need honeycomb, then I need more bees. I like having the ability to farm things, uh, so if that's something I can do, I want to be able to do it. Blue wild blueberries, we did it again. I don't know what's over here. I'm uh, I'm thinking this just circles around to be the path back down, which we're not going to do. Yeah, it looks like it just comes up and around. Is there anything else up here that we're looking for? I don't think so. Let's have a quick look up here. We got those. Doesn't look like there's anything there. So this is kind of just a loopity loop or for no reason at all, other than two blueberry bushes. That's kind of disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Okay, a little bit of hot cave action. Some more hot cave action. Vines look like they're in the way. We need... The machete. Uh, we don't have a machete, so we obviously can't go this. I wonder if we were supposed to go to these stations in order. You know what? I'm going to go back to the start, and we're going to go to to Ranger Station, and then so, the Ranger Station, then Station 1. All right, and we're back. I got completely lost. But I did manage to pick up a few more blueberries, and I'm just checking here in my thing. I noticed they're not here. But when we come over here and look, we see that we've got five wild blueberries, recorder, mechanical part, and Bruno saw, but shh, we don't talk about that guy. Um, yeah, so Ranger Station this way. We're going to head this way. See what we can find. And once again, we're going to go to the left. I don't imagine the Ranger Station is this way, because this feels and looks like kind of like where we came from just from over there. Yeah, so this is not the way. But we should always check it out. Oh, check that out, guys. So that looks must be one of those radio station deals that they're talking about. Uh, oh, that I'm willing to bet is how we get there with the machete. And that's the, probably the last place we have to go. 
so there's a kind of a yeah a deal that goes through. All right, I'm gonna head back to the path before I get completely lost. I know it's dark. I'm sorry. I just if I don't record now, we're not gonna be able to record. So we should be going this way. I believe anyway. So here we go. What's it gonna say here? It's difficult to read. Ranger Station and Relay Station Two is this direction. So we're gonna head this way. See what we find. In a viscerally direction. I hear noise, dingling, dlings, jinglings. I hear jinglings. This island's a big island. It's probably going to take me a lot to explore. I'm going to get as much of it with you guys as I can. Uh, also, those bees hurt. Just so you know, I did manage to find a couple more honeycombs, and when I picked them up, I got stung by bees. Uh, and I do see that in our inventory we have the ability to make what's called a sweep net, and I'm hoping we're going to be able to grab the grab the bees with the sweep net and maybe be able to keep a hold of them and get them to make more honey for us. Okay, so what we're after is definitely not over this way. It's aha, there we go up there. So we're going to have to head that way. I'm going to leave this stuff alone. I see some honeycombs. There's another bear over there. I don't want to go mess with them right now. I want to try and keep my inventory a little bit clean uh, for the time being. So we're going to head over this way. Oh, here we are. Sign. Ranger Station and, re and Station 2, or, and Relay Station 2. So, over here, let's see. I hear the jingling again. It sounds like a, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to fight? What's up, bud? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Suck it, princess. That's what I thought. That was kind of a delayed reaction on my part and his part. Or, uh, his or his or her part. Uh, whatever it is. Okay, so the jingling is coming from... I'm not sure where the jingling's coming from. I want to say it's up here. I wonder if we can hardcore parkour this. We can. What's up here? I hear it. It's definitely louder. Oh, here it is. Check it out, peeps. There's a bell. It's, it is. It's a bike bell. I just picked it up. It says, Pulling! Can beer, bears use bicycle bell? Uh, I don't know if bears can use the bicycle bell. I don't know why that would be up here on the top of this little dew flicker hill, though. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, this direction. Here we are. What do we have here? It says, yeah, we want to keep going up this path, but we want to check out this little campsite here. This is Henry's stuff. Keep out. Uh, okay, it looks like a motor. Uh, I could use a motor. Oh, wait, we've got four of them now. Ha 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 ha! We don't need Henry's motor. So there's nothing there that I see. Henry, maybe a nail? No, nothing? Henry, your stuff is kind of crap -o, man. kind of sucks. Uh, let's keep going this way. Up the hill, we'll see what we can find. Hmm. This is, uh... Oh, now I hear something. Oh, those are spike walls. Why would you have spike walls? On an island like this to keep the bears out, I guess. But I would think the bears would know to not go near the spike walls. Because they would get pricked by them one time and then not go near them again. So let's go up this way. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Gross. Uh, yellow stuff. Looks like it's time for some hot hardcore parkour. Uh, I am... Oh, I landed in it! Oh, no! I did it again. Oh, and again. Oh, peeps. It's bad. It's rough. Uh, that actually hurt quite a bit. It's like a toxic deal. That's not okay. Why is there just a toxic deal floating around there? What about the poor bears? Okay, here we go. Uh, this definitely looks like the thing that we came up here to see. What do we got? Ranger Station is this direction. Let's go check out the Ranger Station. If you lived here, your house is gone. <laughs> I don't see how that's a thing because it's here. Uh, okay. What do we have here? It requires one light bulb, but we don't have a light bulb. All right, let's go in here. Hot plastic action. <gasps> Blueprints, ladies and gentle peeps. Biofuel refinery? Oh, yes, please. Biofuel refinery. We've done it. Let's grab this plastic. Because I don't know why we're going to need it, but we'll need it. What else do we have here? Requires one Bruno's hammer. Okay. And, what, and one Bruno saw. Well, we have Bruno saw. What do we have over here? A note? It's going to read to us. I'm going to go put Bruno saw on the wall. 
Uh, no reading to us. Okay, let's go check out this note. Put Bruno Saw on the wall. Uh, T for notes. Here we are. Schedule. Oh, September 6th through June, or June 6th through September 6th, J. Carrera and G. Gallo. I don't understand what this is. Bionic, B- Bianca? Okay. Something Bianca, September through December. I wonder if it's like an entertainment list, or if it's it's the Rangers that are supposed to be here in the station during those periods of time. That's the more likely scenario. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can get that. That was just some cooked food, which is awesome. I love cooked food, because it means I don't have to cook it. Uh, I don't see anything else, so we definitely need Bruno's Hammer and Bruno's Wrench. Okay, so Bruno lives in the Ranger Station. Let's head on up to this bad boy over here. Check out and see what we've got going on up here. So we're looking for a hammer, and we're looking for a wrench, and we have all kinds of these radio stations to get through. This reminds me of another game. I mean this. Uh, what game do you think it is that I'm thinking of? Put it in the comment section down below what game you think I'm thinking of about climbing something like this in the middle of a scary forest. Uh, more plastic. Okay, hot plastic action. Bottles that we can't pick up. Nothing that we can do with that stuff. Over here, the plants all look like they're in good shape. Let's come on in here. Hello, use. I saw a use. Uh, use. Oh, he's done it. Okay, all this stuff's powering up. Oh, one of three relay stations active. Very good. So we got a couple more to go. Note time. My sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operational. The next shift was meant to start weeks back. But the replacements never showed up. Henry suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. That's uh, that's that's a good idea. Write things down so you don't feel so lonely. Uh, I'd I'd like to get up here. Is there a way up for me? Feels like there should be. Why else would this be here if there's not a way up? It doesn't matter. Uh, so this is station two. We've got it turned on. I still don't understand why this is here. If oh, we did it. We're up. We're on top. Okay. So do we have any more? Oh, okay. Is there any more hardcore parkour? Because I'm up here and there's nothing up here. This, this feels like wasted opportunity. Devs! Don't waste opportunities. What's that say? Activate? Pick up crate. Oh, there is a crate right here. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, he's done it. All right, so that's Ranger Station 2. We've gone and done it. We're still on the look for Bruno's Hammer and Bruno's Wrench, but I'll tell you what, guys. That's going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys very much for coming to hang out with me. If you enjoyed the video today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share this video around the internet as you see fit. I'll see you tonight for some hot live stream action. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, peeps. Peace.